Okay, so hopefully it is not too windy out. I was gonna wear my microphone, but the problem with doing that is it's so windy, I was afraid it would make it worse instead of better. Okay, so I'm getting ready to plant a tomato plant and I just wanted to show you guys how I do my tomato plants. My dad um, was one of those old guys who um, had a just different way of doing it. So instead of planting just even to the dirt line, like what came out of the pot, we are gonna plant all the way up to here. And I know that sounds crazy, but most of this plant is gonna go ahead and give us root all the way up. Tomatoes are just one of those weird plants. Um, so I actually pull all the leaves off all the way toward the bottom. You are gonna be able to get uh, roots all the way up this whole plant. So wherever the dirt is gonna be, the dirt line is gonna be, so all throughout here is gonna actually develop roots. Instead, instead of just having the roots that come out of the pot, we are gonna have roots all the way up this plant, which is why this hole, here's my trowel, is almost all the way up to the handle. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. There's gonna be one person that says, oh, you're not supposed to do it like that. Well, I have always done it like this and my tomato plants have such good root systems and out here where it's almost always windy, they need that. So, there you go. Right, that's the difference. Here's this guy. And I literally planted all the way up to the top. This guy actually is gonna get the same treatment real quick. And then, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and move on and show you what I do with the smaller versions. Hang on a second. Okay, we're going to move on. I've got a little six-pack tray here. And, again, I'm going to go ahead and lightly pinch off all these lower leaves. So... All the way through this plant, we're going to have, even on this little teeny one, we're going to be able to develop a stronger root system. And those roots are going to go all the way up to wherever I put this in the ground at. On this hole, not quite as deep as the other one, but you see how big, not quite six inches, right? Well, let me see if I got it too deep. No, I think that'll be fine. I just do mine the way I do mine. Uh, either way works really good, but if you're not doing this and you have to worry about your roots and your tomato plants falling over, then I would suggest, sorry if, if I'm shouting at you, I don't. So that this is what I do every year. We always have wind out here, guys, always. And my plants have always been healthy and they've always been able to stand up to the wind perfectly. So if you've never tried this, I suggest you try it. Um, I know they seem a little close, but I'm gonna get, actually I might move this guy over one more. 
because I like to get three in a bed. Um, so he probably does need to come over just a little bit more. But we're going to go ahead and move these, move this one over just another smidge. And I'm going to go ahead and jump off here and get to planting. I'm actually trying to beat the rain. My planting season has, has been a little wonky. My frost date for Indiana has always been Mother's Day weekend. And unfortunately with that, uh, we had uh, we had problems with our weather and nobody, well, if everybody was smart, they didn't try to put their plants out early because we had frost four days in a row, Mother's Day week. And so I do know a few people who put annuals out and they lost them or they got really bad burnt. And sometimes they come back and sometimes they don't. So that's how I do my tomato plants. You see what it starts off with. How, how tall these are, a couple inches off the thing, and then you see what I end up with. So that's the difference, guys. Try it, see how you like it, and let me know. But I think you'll be happy with the roots. Talk to you soon. Bye.